Okay, this is uh, Shank the Tank for another origami video. Last time I showed you how to make a uh, water bomb, and this time I'm gonna, you know, up the difficulty a little more and show you how to make this uh, little box that, um, it's not the same kind of, you know, three-dimensional box, but it's like a little kind of container box. Um, you'll see. Anyway, so, last time I showed you how to do the triangle base fold, now I'm gonna show you how to do the, uh, what I call the square base fold. And what you gotta do, same step, pretty much, you fold this into a massive triangle, then fold it into another triangle. Yep, Oop. move the camera, sorry. Then you're gonna take one of the flaps and fold it over again. You got that. Then you're gonna you know, open this up, and this with this crease you're gonna fold it on the opposite side and just kind of push this out like that and hey look a square and you're gonna flip it over take this and now you got that new crease right there fold it along that and you're gonna open this up fold in the opposite direction of that and just kind of push it on it opens up a little on you and then you Push it in right there. And some people might have trouble with this this crease right here because it's not that's not really a crease. You have to do that when you're folding it. You have to, you know, it's gonna go in there and you just want to, you know, crease it a little bit. And make it nice. There you go, triangle base fold. It should look like that when you open it. Okay. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna orient it so that the opening is on that side. You're gonna take one of the like one of the flaps, this first flap, and fold it all the way down. Or as much as you can. Darn it, keep moving the camera. Like that. Right? And you're gonna unfold it just to get a crease there. And you're gonna take this and fold it like that much. Just so the tip of that triangle gets just below that line. Then you're gonna fold the whole thing over. Right, flip it over, do the same thing. Fold it down, unfold, fold it just over the line, crease, and flip it over. All right, so now I got this thing. Now you're gonna turn it to the side and open it up like that. And open it up like that. And you're gonna fold it over, right? And you got this. Creases, creases all around. Then you can take this flap, fold it down. Actually, well yeah, you're gonna have to do that eventually, but I actually skipped a step. What you're gonna do is you take this corner and uh, with that crease right there, you're gonna fold this side along that crease. Like, whoop, actually, <laughs> sorry, never mind. Um, you're gonna do that next, but what first you need to take the tip of this and fold it just a little bit down. Got that. Then you're gonna do this. All right. Fold it like that so it just has a little snub nose and do that to the other side. Like so. Then. You're going to fold this down and crease it on this little platform that's starting to build. And then with this part, you're going to um, pretty much just tuck it underneath and uh, fold it. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side, as which is you know pretty much the same in most geometric origami. Little snub, fold it in. This is it. I just think, you know, this origami is kind of fun. When I do this at school, all my friends are like, ooh, wow, so good. All the cool stuff you just made. I was like, yeah, I know. Posting notes. Anyway, so you just crease that. Now you got this kind of like, you know, diamond looking thing. But see, what I love about origami is um, it never looks like the end product until the very end of it. 
and this part's pretty cool. Just like with the paper box, you have no idea that's going to be a paper box until you blow into it. This is pretty cool too. Watch this magic. You're going to take these two sides. Remember to grip right here because this might pop out. Just forefinger, thumb, like that. See on the other side. And what you're going to do is you're just going to pull. Pull it out. Keep moving the camera, but bam, check that out. Isn't that neat? You know, just kind of push it flat, get a couple creases going, make it, you know, kind of flat. And you got this neat little box that you could just, you know, put stuff in. And yeah, there it is, the little box thing.